Okay, this is my fan, 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 fan. Um, I haven't uploaded very many of these because I am very, very picky. And I haven't really had enough money very recently, and plus, none folks don't want me to buy any more fans because I've got less of them. This is a Seabreeze 6171A. Manufactured in Canada. Um, 115 volts, 0.4 amp, 60 cycles. Metal blade, so, uh, I believe it's a 6 inch fan, because it's not quite 7 inches. Could, it could be 7 inch, I'm not sure. If my... Oh yeah, my Eskimo is an 8 inch, isn't it? So this must be 6 or 7, I'm not sure. It's made of a beige plastic. It's got a little weight in the bottom. Um, place plate's metal, the plastic's metal. It's got a twisty switch. And this fan is wish it's vicious. I've caught my I'm not in two different ways. One, it moves a lot of air. Number two, it hurts like hell when you catch your thumb in it. And I've caught my thumb in it three or four times. And I learned an important lesson. Do not pick up the fan while it's running. And what do I do? I catch my thumb in it and it hurts. Anyway, let's see this fan. Very fast. Straight up and slow down. Well it actually slows it takes a long time to slow down. But the metal blades are like about a millimeter thick, and they're like heavy and stuff, so the pitch is pretty good as well. So, let's see how this goes. And it turns that way, rather than that way. It even sounds cool. Notice I'm being very careful. Neat sound, eh? The bearings are so nice in this fan. They're good and clean, I oiled it and everything. Beasy fan. Very beasy. That one is small enough to take to school and use because when the so when the summer when the late late school year um, heat waves come, I'll all be ready for it. There's a little bit of shake, sort of in the middle of this middle speed. You might have saw it a little bit back there. See how long it takes to slow down? Well, the front and back bearings. There are no oil parts there except to take the cover off. This fan, I just, it's, it's, it's just awesome. The way to test these fans is to go like this. You know, sort of ping noise of the bearing moving back and forth. There's no springs in the bearing, no nothing. It uses rubber washers if you put it in the right way and the bearing set so. It's a perfect fan. It's like mint. I'm serious. It's like mint. The only thing I have to do is get rid of that sticky stuff that's right there. It's, it's from the tape. The label has already been cleaned by me. It's reasonable close up. I'm gonna zoom back out. I guess let's see. No, it's not gonna be. Not gonna show up quite enough. But it's got a really kind of cool label. It's sort of fixed in the middle. It's got a neat X shape. Oh, I even like the little center pieces on this thing. It's 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 it's, it's, it's a cool fan. It's my favorite one so far. It, more of my favorite than the Eskimo. And these, the, uh, this is the only other fan that resides in my room. The, the uh, Toshiba and the Torican reside downstairs. So, that's the Sea Breeze. You should call it the, uh, the, the little the Sea Hurricane or something or the whatever, because that thing moves a lot of air. Probably didn't sound much like it on the camera, but it, it's, it's, in person it does quite a bit.